Yo, what is up, everyone? Welcome back. We got another race reaction here. Philadelphia, city of brotherly love. And uh, yeah, we're bringing this to you. We're a little late. These day races are super cool if you're going to the races and you're going to be there and you want to grab dinner afterwards and all that stuff. It's great. When you're living in a state that's come through winter and has had terrible weather and all sorts of stuff like that and you have a nice day and it's in the middle of the afternoon on your saturday uh it creates a much different vibe per se and basically i just uh i had some stuff to do so apologies for anyone who was looking for a live show uh i had planned on doing one i ended up selling off a dirt bike today and uh i had to meet the guy at the same time that the a group was going on then i had a couple of family things to do after that Needless to say, it just I didn't have time to do the live show. So apologies for that. I'm pretty sure we'll be back next week for Denver live show. Uh, but anyway, this is a race reaction here. And holy crap, Philadelphia, first time since the early 80s, 82, I think it was, uh, that we've been there to race and uh, didn't disappoint. Did not disappoint. Uh, in the 450 class, um, I mean... Jet gets a start and Jet wins. This is really no surprise there. Uh, Tomac was pushing, um, but Cole or Justin, I think it's Justin's thing, um, about 15 minutes in, he just kind of starts to taper off there. And there came a point where you could really see he was lagging, bro. Lagging. Um, uh, Jet rode an amazing race. Did everything he needed to do, got that start, actually snuck, tucked under Eli there on the start, um, and now has stretched that points lead out a little bit. I don't have the exact numbers right in front of me, uh, but he has stretched that points lead out a little bit there, and I think it's getting to the point here that I don't know that Coop can, I don't know that Coop can come back from that, to be honest with you, um, and Coop had a rough day. I mean, you go to Cooper Webb, he... Got an okay start, and then that last corner goes down, and Anderson gets him, and instead of being on the box, now he's... Sorry. Burpee. Ugh. Instead of being on the box, now he's fourth. So that's that's really rough. That's really rough for him to not be there. Um, and it's kind of taking the air out of the series here uh, with the 450s there. Sexton rode really well all day. Had a bit of a, a, a issue there in that first, uh, heat race or whatever heat race it was. I can't remember if it's the first or second one now. Um, so a bit of an issue there. Uh, got caught up in that thing with Justin Cooper, uh, in one of the first corners there. Um, but still came back qualified and then <clears throat> had a good race. I guess he wasn't hurt after that crash last week. Uh, probably the most interesting thing out of the whole day as far as that went was his mechanic has changed. And we'll get more into that in the main show, but this isn't really a surprise to us per se. So um, outside of that, man, there wasn't a whole lot going on in that 450 class there. Um, like the main was good. It was exciting, but you were kind of just watching guys shuffle around behind jet basically. Um, like Sexton didn't get the greatest of starts, but came through, uh, to get up there. And then, um, like I said, then you have like Eli fades off Ando fades off. Uh, Webb was super pissed in the interview afterwards, which is expected. You know, you, you fade out like that. You crash in that last corner. You end up fourth, did they end up fourth or fifth. I don't remember. Yeah, now I'm struggling here to even remember. Uh, but it was a rough day for him. And what was, you know, a really, really close points chase is now really not close. And I don't know that it gets any better going forward. So we'll just have to kind of wait and see. Um, as far as the 250 class goes, that 250 main was wild. Um, the whole Jalik Swole Hammaker incident there. Uh, yeah, probably should have checked up. Not really gone for that. That was kind of a dick move, in my opinion. They both were looking really strong up until that point. Uh, but that's, ah, that wasn't a good look. Wasn't a good look at all for either for for either one of them really. Um, it, it hurt both of them really. Uh, yeah, it was just that was just a bad situation there. Uh, the Pierce Brown thing. Pierce Brown has had a great, fantastic season going of not ending up in the Brown, as we always make the joke. Pierce Brown down in the Brown. Uh, 
So to have that cross rut and that gnarly get off, like that was that was scary. That was wild. Uh, Vial and Deegan both struggling off the start, watching them come through, and you could tell Deegan so badly wanted to get to him to have a chance and just couldn't quite do it. He'd close up, and then Vial would stretch it back out, and then close up again, and then Vial would stretch it back out, um, and like. They've definitely done some PR training with Deegan as far as his interviews go because, yeah, I mean, that was, you know, he's we're, we're back to thanking God and, man, that wreck was gnarly, hope he's okay type stuff. So I, I don't know. I mean, I, I think the kid's all right. He's just a kid. Like, there's, there's lots of this stuff that I chalk up with him to just being a kid. But anyway, uh, but that points title again stretches out a little bit too so the air kind of went out of that because now it's 15 with only the showdown and don't get me wrong anything can happen in that showdown but it's it's a lot less i give it we're we're basically to like an 80 20 at that one um like there's a 20 percent chance something crazy happens to vial deegan wins the showdown and deegan wins that title but we'll just have to wait and see where we get with that in two weeks. We got the West Coast coming up next week for the 250s. The final thing with the 250s, Max Anstey pulls off a win, dude, which was absolutely phenomenal. He looked great all day, fastest qualifier, um, and it's great to see him do that. I've heard he signed the star deal. I heard the star deal's done for next year, so he's going to star. So it's cool for him to give Phoenix Honda a win after all the work and everything they've put in and to do it at a dry race because he, he did win a race last year, but it was a mutter. So to win a dry race, and I mean, there just there really wasn't anybody pressuring him. He had a gap and just kind of maintained it the whole time there, and like that was it. So, um, like Haymaker was kind of hanging with him at the beginning, and then then that kind of tapered off. But but overall, that was just a fantastic ride by Anstey and it's honestly one of those weird things I could see him winning the showdown in two weeks too like this be a confidence booster going into the showdown I'll be interested I don't know if he's riding I don't think he's riding any outdoors um he's he's openly stated he's super cross only but with winning this that's cool too because he's now guaranteed his slot for the super motocross stuff which I think is fantastic so um yeah that was that was a lot of what happened. That first lap of the 250 LCQ was absolutely wild. Uh, the 250s and 450s switching, I understand why we did it. It's NBC, yada, yada, yada. But again, can we can we just do one thing and stick to it? Can we not switch back and forth all the time? Like I liked how we did it, and then we stuck with it there. But then I don't like how all of a sudden we went back and forth. I don't... I don't I'm not a fan. Like... I think that makes us look amateur in the grand scheme, so I think we need to do something and stick with it. If it's the 450s going first and then the 450s being the last main, I'm totally fine with that. That's totally cool. I actually do like it. I think it works out better because you get the stars of the sport right off the rip. But that's something else. We'll discuss that on the main show tomorrow. So comment down below your thoughts on the race. Again, I thought it was pretty good. Do you like the day races? Do you not like the day races? It kind of screws up my day when I'm at home and I have stuff to do, essentially. Um, but if I'm at the race, I do like it a lot better. So anyway, comment down below with all that. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. And uh, check us out Tuesday for the main show. Later.